Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On the agenda tonight, we're going to be taking another look at Elvis Presley and we're going to be looking at his guitar playing. I did a video on Elvis before where I was analysing his guitar playing because some people said that he was faking it and then others thought that he could play the guitar. So as a guitar teacher, of 15 years and a player of 24 years, I had a look at it and explained from my point of view what he was doing. So the reason that I'm doing this follow-up video is because I don't usually do rant kind of videos and it's not really that, it's just a more thorough analysis of that video because I've had a comment on the video that I did before and it was from New Heritage and I'm gonna read this out because I've got it up on screen and the message was, I could not disagree with this guy more strongly. Elvis faked it. Proof. Number one, the run you hear at nine minutes and 30 doesn't match his fingering. Number two, those slides at 9.50, you don't hear until the third one or so. And no, there is no delay in that vid because we would detect it in the mouthing of the words. Number three, the last run at 10.15 doesn't match his fingering either. Four, most importantly, I remember on his last tour seeing and hearing him in a live vid telling the audience he faked it. What probably happened with this session, like a lot of so-called live performance, they dubbed those guitar parts in afterwards because those sounds definitely didn't come out his amp. He was a beginner at best on guitar. So I replied, explaining everything that I'm going to be doing in this video and I have filmed myself playing exactly the same notes and phrases that Elvis is playing and I'm going to put them side by side, maybe even do it in slow motion. So you can see that if Elvis is faking this, he's faking it in such a way that he's picking all the right strings with all the right fingering on the left hand and it's just the amp has been muted because you would hear exactly what you can hear from this video. So anyway, I responded just trying to explain it that sometimes it goes a little bit out of sync so don't get put off by that. So anyway, New Heritage replied and said, I've been playing guitar for almost 45 years. I disagree and stand by previous comment. Thanks for the discussion and the video. So in tonight's video, I really want to show you that Elvis was playing this live but also it does get under my skin a little bit because nowadays in the music industry there are loads of people who are faking things and getting credit for it with auto-tune and even guitar players who fake something really technical and then you can see they're not actually playing the notes that we can see in the video. So it does bug me a little bit when people say it's definitely faked. So if I see something that is genuinely true and the person is playing it and people are saying that it's being faked, I'm going to show you exactly how they're doing it and just slow it down so you guys can see that it's not faked. So the first point was the run at 9 minutes and 30 doesn't match Elvis's fingering. So I'm going to get the run that I played earlier along with the video to show you guys that it definitely does match the fingering that Elvis is playing. And you have to take into consideration that Elvis wasn't a lead player and he was a rhythm player and quite a basic rhythm player but he could throw in these lead notes as fills so he's using a technique that if you've been playing for years you wouldn't play it this way you wouldn't finger the notes this way but when you do finger the notes the same way as Elvis, you'll see all of the correct movements and all of the open strings happening exactly where they need to be. It's just changing your playing to copying the way that Elvis is playing. So you can see by the movement when it's slowed down, it's almost identical to what I'm playing with my left hand. The only lack of synchronicity that we get is due to the audio and the frame rate of the video not being perfectly lined up. But when you look at the movements, you can see that he's playing exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. The next point was at nine minutes and 50 where Elvis slides a few times on the guitar. And having watched this since, 
he's actually really accurate with the slides, more so than I thought initially. So we're going to get that same passage of play on screen. I'm going to play the same thing. You can look at it side by side to see the movements. And the important thing here is to not look at Elvis's first finger or his third finger or his little finger. He's sliding with his second finger. And this can be sometimes a little bit distracting when you're looking at the wrong finger and you think, oh, he's fretting in the wrong place. He isn't. And I'll put that side by side. <laughs> point was that the run at 10 minutes and 15 didn't match what Elvis was doing with his fingers the way that he was playing it but it absolutely does we'll show that in a second the other thing to point out is that it's the same run throughout the whole performance that Elvis is playing which to me points at a player being at a standard where they've got one run that they can nail every time, but they're not going to extemporize with any other runs because they haven't reached that level yet. So it points even more towards it definitely being played by Elvis because it's the same thing every time. <laughs> This last example was an interesting one because you can see right at the end, Elvis plays the first fret of the A string on the run with his second finger and I play it with my first finger. So it's just something to look out for because Elvis is playing it, he's just playing it with a different finger. So it might look a little bit different, but the notes are exactly the same. If people did see Elvis say that he faked it and he didn't really play the guitar, I would believe that because Elvis has been stood next to and sat next to Scotty Moore for so long that he knows exactly the level of player that Scotty was and to mention that he would play the guitar or that he was great at playing the guitar or even intermediate in front of Scotty would have been so embarrassing for him because what happens as musicians improve and Elvis was a top musician with his vocal cords, his whole showmanship, he had an appreciation of music on a deeper level. Everybody knows that whenever you play the guitar, every guitarist is the same. They only see the worst parts of their playing and they only see their own weaknesses. So when they say, are you as good as that player? They will probably say, well, no, I just dabble. I don't really play seriously, even though they're a great guitarist. It's exactly what Elvis would have meant. Because Elvis had such respect for the session players that he saw and also Scotty Moore, he would never mention himself in that same breath. So he would say that he faked it because to him, just playing a few chords and playing one fill over and over again is the same as faking it when you're next to a guy like Scotty Moore. So that's what he would have meant, even though people would have taken him literally, but musicians and artists will know exactly what he means. Let me just get this freeze frame from the video up on screen as well, because it's what I mentioned earlier with Elvis actually coming out of a passage where he's leaning back with the guitar, it's moving around quite a lot, but he gets down and rests his pick on the A string just before he's about to play the run. And the run, of course, starts on the A string. And the giveaway here is you can see the gap between the low E string and the A string where Elvis is already applying pressure to that string in readiness to pick it for the beginning of the run. So there's no need to fake it to this level and do all of these tiny technical adjustments whilst playing if you are faking it because there'd be nothing to gain from it. So he's got the technique exactly right here and you can see it clearly in this image. I'm hoping that New Heritage can see this video and maybe even change their opinion and the comment that they made on that first video. I don't think with this video I'm ever going to be able to explain it and show it more clearly than I have. So if people are still thinking that Elvis is faking this, then there's literally nothing you can do. But the other thing that just doesn't sit well with me is that Elvis Presley 
is getting discredited for something that he's actually doing. So he should be getting credit for playing. The other thing about somebody commenting on a video where I'm saying it is true, it is being played, and them saying it absolutely isn't true, that is questioning my knowledge and my experience and my opinion on what I'm seeing. And I always keep everything as honest as I can on the channel. If I see something that's fake, I will say it's fake. You guys know that with auto-tune and pre-recorded performances that I've looked at. But I will do my best to analyze in as much detail as possible to make it as clear to you all that what I'm saying is true. And if I am wrong about something, I will say, oh, I got that wrong, he is faking it, those notes don't match. But hopefully this video will get out there and people can see once and for all that Elvis could play the guitar, he wasn't faking. I also hope that this video has been clear enough for people who don't play the guitar to see all the notes are being played correctly and also players who have been playing for many years can appreciate that Elvis could play the guitar to a level where he could play rhythm and throw in little fills as we have here. Teaching for a long time, day in, day out, and watching people playing things incorrectly and making that link between what you're hearing and what you're seeing, I think is a totally different skill. So it might be the case that people do play, but they can't see it's the same thing we're hearing as we're seeing. And also, Elvis's technique doesn't help because he's using different fingers than you normally would. And on the right hand, I did mention this in that first video, doing lots of down picks and no up picks. Whereas you might have noticed on my right hand when I'm demonstrating, you start to alternate pick when you get to a higher level and you start to master things a little bit more. But Elvis was just at the point where he used a lot of those down picks and didn't need the up picks. So a bit of an analysis forward slash rant video for tonight. I just had to bring this up because I think when people do something and it's being called fake when it isn't, you've just got to stand up and show people as clearly as you can that what you're saying is fake isn't and give the person the kudos and the respect that they deserve for playing and singing at the same time. Thank you guys for sticking with me in this video. Keep your suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.